This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. One man is dead after a shooting on the east side early yesterday morning. 31-year-old Benjamin Barnett was found with gunshot wounds in an alleyway near Speedway in Rosemont after police got reports of shots fired. Barnett later died. Tucson police say the shooting does not appear to be random. Tucson firefighters say it was a close call after having to send out a mayday while battling a mobile home fire. A 911 call came in around 8 o'clock last night about the fire near Nogales Highway and Valencia that one person may also be trapped inside of that home. Well, during the first search, crews actually had to get out because conditions changed inside of the structure. They were able to go in again but could not find anyone. At least one person was treated for smoke inhalation. Remember to thank a military service member today on this National Hug a GI Day. While GI has its roots with the Army, the day celebrates all branches of the U.S. military. You can do your part by giving a hug, handshake, email, or even just telling someone if you happen to see a service member while you are out today. Always a good thing mm, to remember. Absolutely. Well, after sifting through more than 150 applications, Ben's Bells officially has a new executive director. And on your side, Veronica Acosta introduces us to the woman who will head the organization. Hey, good morning. Well, we're all familiar with that be kind symbol, right? The symbol looks like this right behind me. It's sprawled all across Tucson City School walls. It's on bumper stickers, really an array of items. And of course, we know the symbol belongs to the Ben Bells organization. Now, the organization, they do have a brand new executive director coming in. Her name's Helen Gomez. She most recently worked at the University of Arizona, and she says one of the reasons she wanted to take on this exciting job was because it's really made an impact in her life and the lives of her children. Now, as far as the outgoing executive director, she's going to be sticking around, leaving behind that boss role and doing a lot more community engagement. For now, reporting from the east side, Veronica Costa Kega 9 on your side. Thank you for that report, Veronica. Let's head over to meteorologist April Madison for a look at our weather. Hey, April. Good morning. We're seeing just a little bit of cloud cover looking to the south this morning, but uh, it's pretty nice. We're going to see most of these clouds kind of clearing. We'll see a few wispy clouds off and on throughout the day. Staying dry, though. Right now we're at 47. Definitely can grab the jacket as you head out the door, but dress in layers. We're going to warm once again, just like yesterday. Mostly sunny, low 70s. Not bad, but look at the jump that we make between Tuesday and Wednesday. Literally, we're going to jump almost 10 degrees just between today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then yet another five. We're going to be soaring about 10 to 15 degrees above the norm, but it will be short lived. We're already tracking our next storm, which will bring us a chance for rain and mountain snow and temperatures back down to the upper 60s and low 70s for the weekend. Thank you so much, April. For more news and weather updates throughout the day, you can always head to our website, kagan9.com, or follow us on social media.